Back y'all, it's early morning, we out in traffic, it's your boy, hey, before we even get started, I want to say I really appreciate everybody who's been ordering the book, even those who's thinking about ordering, y'all know what it is, mustbemebook.com, come on, get your copy, we keeping it moving, we still in relationships because some of y'all don't get it, I'm trying to help you tell you something, y'all won't listen to me, but check this out, I'm going to tell you one thing I thought about, and this makes a lot of sense, remember we were talking about, uh, before you can have a relationship with anyone else, you have to have first a real relationship with yourself. Now let me ask you, ask you this question, and a lot of people, you actually ask yourself this. How much do you know about you? That might sound strange and sound crazy at the moment, but it's actually probably the most realistic question you will ever hear in your life because a lot of you don't know anything about your damn selves. You just accept what's going on, and you just deal with whatever happens at that moment or that day. You're like, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. I want to do this, I want to do that, but you don't really know what you truly desire or how to go about it, how to get it. So, think about it. What do you know about you? Like, what are your likes? What are your dislikes? I mean, okay, perfect example. Years ago, I met a woman in uh, in Virginia. So, she had this list of 25 different things of what the man she wanted to be with was supposed to be like. Not about herself. Listen to what I'm saying, but the list was about the man she wanted to be was supposed to be like. I didn't fit nothing on that list, but she still wanted to deal with me because of my character. So that right there tells you what type of person you are and what type of nature you have because that means that's integrity all intact at the same time. If I don't fit your criteria but you still want to deal with me, then it's something about me. But the thing is, with me is, I know what I go after, I know what I want. I don't settle, I don't make excuses. If it didn't happen, it's something I didn't do. If I didn't accomplish it somewhere I'm slacking or I need to better get a thank you get a better understanding of what I need to make things work for me on my behalf. So I gotta keep going forward, I gotta keep pressing on. So with that being stated, you gotta keep pressing on for yourself. So sit back, take time out, and write down who you are to you. What you want from yourself first because you can't say you want a man with this and all this money with this car. I want a woman built like this and built like that. Because if you 700 pounds, but you want a woman looking like Miss America, the new one, not the old man. We talk about the black one. We like the black one. She fine too. I want new Miss America type stuff. You want something like that? Don't. Say, I'm not saying she won't gravitate you or might not like you, but when you want certain things, you have to give off certain things. You have to exude certain things. So if you want this type of woman, you need to be that type of man. If you want that type of man, you need to be this type of woman first. Sit down, write it down, get an understanding of who you is and what you love about you. Because some things you might not like about yourself. And a lot of people, I'm going to tell you this, people who you know are in your relationships, not personal relationships, but just friendly type relationships, will get mad at you for you accomplishing a goal that they wanted to accomplish. Or that you beat them to it. Let me say that again because y'all might not grasp it. People will get mad because you beat them to a goal that they wanted to accomplish. The difference was you put in the work and they didn't. They took the time out and said, well, I want to do this, I want to lose weight, or I want to get this house, or I want to get this car. So they figured out what they had to do to make things work on their behalf. You, on the other hand, decided, well, I'm going to sit back, I'm going to chill, and I'm going to do it later. I got time. But then when they accomplish it, you start getting mad at them. The thing is, you'll sit back and talk to everybody you know, talk crazy about them in the background, and go belittle them. But the thing was, you just mad because they did it first. Must be me means it must be you. You get what I'm saying? I'm trying to help you help you get there see we came up i'm gonna tell y'all too real quick see we came down a whole different road because you ain't gonna find them ultimas over here at speed and stuff because they don't over here in this area my nigga in this area of the neighborhood it's a wonderful day in the neighborhood over here because they going to jail if they come through here sliding like that they can't slide through here like that so we out the hood we actually in the you know little suburban type area because we don't want no nissan ultimas trying to run us off today we keeping it we keeping it you know we keeping it smooth with y'all today but again Take the time out, write it down, figure out who you are, who you want to be. Then it's real easy to start meeting the people that you want to meet because now you're where you need to be. You're in a position you want to be in. You get what I'm saying? So now people who are like-minded or with the same temperament or attitude, they're real easy to find because they'll gravitate to you because of what you exude. We get what we give off. If you give off that I'm nothing, you're gonna receive nothing. Don't get me wrong, there's always variances where, like I said before, the hood dude, the college professor, you know y'all meet, you are intrigued because nine times 10, the first thing was their physical attraction, but then the mental attraction has to be greater than the physical. Y'all didn't understand that. The mental attraction has to be greater than the physical because then now we know we can go somewhere. But if they're not trying to go nowhere, like I said, if they level here, you're level there, hey, you gotta level up or they gotta level up. Somebody's gotta level up and get to where you're going. Well, check this out. 
Thank y'all again for those who ordered. For those who haven't, get on your job. Go and get you a copy. Let's get it in. We all know we're going to keep it coming. We're not stopping till y'all get an understanding of what we said. Y'all see the book, you see my name. Check out the Arthur Chris Jackson uh, YouTube channel. Go to the Arthur Chris page on Facebook. Uh, subscribe and like on the YouTube channel, man. It must be me, book.com. Get your copies today. Let's run it up. Let's get it together. But let's also get an understanding more than anything. Till next time, y'all always know what it is. Much love. Holla at your boy. Peace.